What's up guys? Today is a really big day for me. As you know, I spend pretty much all my time here in Southeast Asia. I've traveled Thailand, Philippines, Indonesia, Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia, basically every single one of the countries here. It's pretty much home for me and I think that it's time to actually make it home. And one of the ways to do that is to rent a long-term home, somewhere I can start setting up, have a home base to come back to, to feel comfortable, and to do work from. And I think that Today is the day that I kind of get a ballpark of where I want to stay. Uh, the reason I booked this trip to Bali was to check out Changu, a place that has great lifestyle. It's got coffee shops, restaurants, high speed internet, and it's located in a great spot in Southeast Asia. So for me, this is really exciting because uh, I've met with a real estate agent. We're going to be taking a look at a few villas today and uh, I'll give you a bit of an idea of what it would cost to rent here. And uh, I'm trying to find a two bedroom villa with a private pool, private gated area. The reason is I wanna have a second bedroom for when other people come to visit Bali. Having that extra bedroom would be a very worthy investment. Excited to check it out, so let's do it. Let's go have a look. And this is the dining area. Wow. So right there is a bathroom, little sink, and uh, this would be the master suite, I believe. And this is a two bedroom villa, so we're gonna head over to the next room. And how much is this one? 115. 115 million, million. for the year. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this one has a bigger bathroom, definitely outdated bathrooms. This villa here cost 115 million rupiah for the year. Now that you're probably thinking that sounds like an extraordinary amount of money, but that's actually only like 10 grand, which, you know, is still a lot, but if you consider what everyone else is paying back home, very, very reasonable. Damn. Outdoor shower, dining area, private gate. So this one here is probably about 15 minutes outside of Echo Beach, definitely very reasonable. I think I'm looking for something a little closer by and maybe a little more modern on some things. I think the bathrooms are a bit of a turnoff, but I do want to find a place that I can decorate, make my own, and uh, this is a rather bare bone place. Definitely a lot of room for decorating, making it you know feel cozier, and it's beautiful. It also includes pool cleaning. Uh, it doesn't include the cleaning services, which are fairly affordable, as you can imagine. You also apparently have to pay a banjar and another word he said, but basically that's like paying the local community for like rubbish collection, paying them just basically to keep the community clean or whatever it goes towards, but it's like that's $10 a month, so that's really nothing. We've just arrived at villa number two here. This one's a bit closer, probably about only seven minutes outside of Echo Beach. <laughs> Got yourself a nice pool here. That's the entrance. Now this is a very large living area. Ooh, I really like this table setup. The old wood, pretty bare bones, uh, not really any decorating going on, which is kind of what I'm looking for because as I mentioned, I wanna do my own decorating. So here's one of the bedrooms. And a slightly outdated bathroom, but nothing I can't work with. So what I really like about this one is the location. We've got a rice paddy surrounding it, so it's in a super quiet area. Uh, it's backing onto a creek. And this here is, I believe, the spare room. It seems a bit smaller. See so right there, you got another outdoor shower. Nice little bathroom. There's your toilet. Definitely a few things that could be spruced up. Definitely a bit of personality could be added and this could be a pretty awesome place to call home. Uh, so this one, you're looking at 150 million rupiah for the year. But one thing he kind of hinted at is like, everything's negotiable. I think you could definitely drop it like 10 to 15% from that listing price, maybe more. I'm still very new to the market. All right. Yeah, <laughs> wow, look at this place. So this here is villa number three. It is definitely under renovations right now. So you're just gonna have to look at like the structure and what's actually here because I'm sure it's gonna be very beautiful when it's all done. But uh, much smaller pool, which is nothing wrong with that. Definitely much more modern. It's the modern style you'd say? Yeah. Very modern, yeah. I like that. I like this area, it's really cool. So in here, 
You got uh, a spare room, so you got two beds at the moment. Let's see what's in here. Very uh, nice modern bathroom. Good looking kitchen appliances. And a spare room in here, kind of like a covered pantry area. As much as I like the Balinese style, I also really like this modern feel to it. Um, it's a complete disaster of a mess right now, but I can definitely see it for what it's going to be. And I really love this open concept, super high roof, like it's gotta be like a 40 foot roof right here. What do we have up here? And this would be the master suite. Damn. Wow. I like this. Hello, it's me. Got your pool down there. This one right here is basically like a two minute drive to the busiest parts of Chenggu. So it's like right off the strip, really nearby to the mainstream hubs. Uh, I think that's a good thing. I wouldn't mind being five to 10 minutes out, but being close is also good. As long as it's not too, too close, I think there's still enough separation from the main road. One thing I definitely have to be mindful of is break-ins. I mean, you're living in a country where you're not there all the time. If someone breaks into your place, like they could take everything and you know, you're not gonna be there to do much about it. So I have to be careful. I think the closer you get to like buildings, to main areas, you do run a higher risk that your house could be cased. So that's a downside. So this is the bathroom. Got a nice his and her sink. Got a proper dedicated shower. I'm feeling this. This is nice. The one thing I'll say that I'm not fond of is that it's a little bit over decorated so you're gonna pay more because it's got some furniture in it and I wanted to have like a blank canvas that I could start fresh from. It's not so decorated that I can't bring my own touch into it. I gotta say though, I do, I really like this place. So we'll see. This one is 180 million for the year. I'm not gonna be here that often. The truth is because I travel so much, this is more like an investment property and a home. So it's gonna be a home that when I'm in Bali, of course I'm here, but the rest of the time, I'll try to keep it filled up with people renting. So uh, when the time comes, I'll let you guys know, because if you're visiting Bali, hit me up and you could potentially rent this place or another place from me. So we'll get to that point. So the last place we saw was really modern. This one is in between Balinese and modern, which we'll see, it could be a really cool combo. Uh, so right now, also under renovations, but opening up in August. Uh, so they're gonna have a sliding gate here so you can put your scooters in here, have peace of mind. Oh, look at that. Really nice. This is very Balinese style. A lot more of space that's outdoors, which is a good thing, I think. Damn. This is kind of what I was thinking. Like, this is a blank slate, you know? Um, they don't have any decorating, but the things that they have in place are super modern and nice. I love a good clean bathroom. Like the showers are important to me. This is really cool. It's not cheap. So this is about 185 million for the year. You can negotiate a little, see where it settles, but this one's not as close to the main street. Has more privacy, bigger pool, bigger outdoor living area. Kind of what I had in mind when I pictured living in Bali. The last place was beautiful, but didn't have that outdoor space. So I'm kind of torn which one I want more, but uh, here is the spare. And it's identical. It'd be much easier for me to sublet out the extra room when I'm, even when I'm here in Bali, have somebody else renting out that extra room. So this definitely has some benefits to it. And you got your outdoor shower. Can just imagine waking up in the morning, opening up those sliders, taking a dip right in there, doing my work here. I'm kind of like living the dream right now, guys. I'm just feeling it. I hope you guys enjoyed this very limited sneak preview of the Chenggu real estate market. As I said, it's not the cheapest in Southeast Asia and these prices are inflated and it doesn't even reflect all of Bali. You could easily find places that are probably half the price and a little further out of the developed areas. You're gonna pay a premium to stay in the most developed and the most desired places. There's another resource I'm gonna leave you with and that is the Facebook community group. So for each little area in Bali, there tends to be a Facebook group dedicated to the people who live there who are often expats. They're often looking for people to fill in for rentals. Sometimes they're short term from one week to a month and sometimes it's people looking for one year to five year rents. If you wanna deal face to face with the person actually renting the house and cut out the middleman being the real estate agent who tends to crank up the prices, this is a really great option. For when my time comes to actually make the move and find a one year lease or a two year lease in Bali, I think this is how I'm going to find mine. I think the best deals are to be found there.
If you guys enjoyed this video and want to see more similar videos like this made, whether it's more of them in Bali or some of them in other places of the world, comment down below. Let me know what you think. And if you're new to the channel, smash that subscribe button. Hit the notification button so you can be notified when new videos just like this are posted. And guys, let's get lost again in the next one. And one last thing before I end today's video, I want to let you guys know that I will be putting up a video about how I get all my hotel stays for free. I'll even be including my email template that I use to contact the hotels and that'll all be available on Patreon. So make sure to check the link down below to join the Patreon crew and I'll see you over there. Fan of the day. Yay!